So, aloha. Why I left Hawaii. Um, it's my favorite place on earth and I lived there for three years and people have often asked me, why did you leave? So I'm going to tell you. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that really discouraged me after three years is the quality of the housing. Okay, uh, there was a lot of illegal renting so that if you were going to pay like a thousand dollars for a little tiny studio, you'd most likely get a um, bathroom sink to wash your dishes in and maybe not even a kitchen. That was on Kauai. Um, so the choices were pretty limited for where you would end up living. Um, yes, it is more expensive here in the Bay Area, but there is more opportunity to have economic opportunities. Which brings me to money. Um, as much as I love Hawaii and I would go back there for an extended time, I'm not saying I won't because I love it and you stay healthy and it's beautiful. Um, I spent a lot of my savings. So um, great if you have savings to go there, you'll spend a lot of it too. Um, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. I mean, that's the thing. You just have to decide in the end, um, what is it that you want? I wanted to have more economic opportunities and, you know, for such an expensive place to live, um, you know, I had my photography business in Palo Alto, the center of Silicon Valley. So I was uh, regarded as, there's some prestige with that because I was a full-time photographer with my own business. I still am. And I missed uh, the amount of money that I would make for my photography. And yeah, I would charge the same in Hawaii and people acted like they wanted to pay college graduate rates, <laughs> to which I said no. Um, yeah, I'm not going to charge $25 for something I would charge $500 for here. Nope, not going to do it. So I would suggest they find some college students to do that for them. I actually even had one person go, well, our photographers really like taking pictures. Yeah, I like taking pictures too, but I've been a professional for 35 years, and I'm going to get paid those rates. I'm not going backwards. Nope. So there's that. Um, so that kind of gets to you because you don't want to work for nothing. I mean, if you want a great, if you got a ton of money, you can live off of great. Okay, which brings me to the disparity in the economics of people there. There's either like wildly wealthy people or the people on the bottom that have three jobs. There's no one in the middle. Honestly, there isn't. So, you know, your friends can be like, they don't have to work. They've got a lot of money. You actually have to work and make some money. So, I have wonderful friends there um, that are very authentic and wonderful. And um, I miss them every day and I miss Hawaii. The thing is, um, it's nice to be, when I lived on Kauai, I didn't really, I didn't have the culture of people like an entrepreneurial group that I could really count on for that kind of connection that you need to when you're, I mean, I've had my own business for 35 years. I, and I'm continuing to have it. So I like being in a culture of uh, people understanding that and I mean, here I am in the epicenter of Silicon Valley right now. Um, and you do get that here. So there's that. So it's gorgeous in Hawaii. It's absolutely beautiful and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Um, my experience there, I got to swim with wild dolphins. And uh, I did the best economically on Oahu and uh, I started teaching photography right away, my own private sessions. Um, I had some retreats. I had some retreats, uh, some luxury three-day retreats on Kauai, which did well. Um, and I could have made the decision to stay there, but um, with the housing problem and the economics, I chose to leave. 
And so if you're thinking of going there, Oahu is really the most likely place that you're going to be able to make some money. Um, unless you get a secured job on one of the islands. But there's just more people, more tourism. Um, yeah, there's traffic, but there's the bus, which I used. I put my bicycle on it and went to Waikiki every day and swam in the ocean. And it's a dream come true life that if you can sustain it, great. And I would love to go back for three or four months a year, which I plan on doing. So um, there you have it. <laughs> Please ask questions below uh, if you want to know anything more. People have wanted to know why I left and there it is. So aloha and thanks for watching.